On this inauguration day, destruction in Portland, windows smashed, a person in custody, a demonstration violence heats up fast, but is quickly smothered by a swarm of police. At 6 o'clock, good evening everyone, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Protesters targeted the Democratic headquarters in Northeast Portland as part of a march that began earlier this afternoon. And at least one person has now been detained. Jennifer Dowling on the scene with more on this breaking news. Jennifer, what's the status right now? I see a lot of cleanup behind you. Yeah, that's right. The saws are going, the hammer, nails, the boards are being put up here at the Oregon Democratic Party headquarters, uh, North East Davis and Northeast 9th Avenue here. Uh, this was busted into uh, earlier this afternoon, a few hours ago, after people went on the march from Revolution Hall. They started out there at around 2 o'clock. And they went on the move, this particular group, uh, saying that they are anti-police, uh, anti-President Biden, and anti-government in general. Uh, they marched through here, attacked the building here at the Democratic Party headquarters, broke the windows, broke a glass point, uh, pane that was in a door here, uh, trashed the blinds and the framework around the windows. And so now the cleanup continues. So police just sent out a release about 20 minutes ago saying uh, there were around 100 to 150 people gathered at Revolution Hall earlier today, and they marched uh, to the headquarters here. And they smashed windows and vandalized the building. Police say the group moved in the direction of Buckman Park near Northeast 15th and Gleason Street. They identified several people responsible for the damage, according to police and related criminal activity, and they made multiple, quote, targeted arrests in the area of the park. The officers in patrol cars, according to police, also made several traffic spot stops, which we witnessed ourselves. The group later dispersed on its own, and arrest information, they say, will be released at a later time. So we talked to a homeless man who was here near uh, the Democratic Party headquarters when it was vandalized, and he helped to put out a dumpster fire that was burning. And I want to play a little bit uh, of his interview and what he said about the situation. Take a listen. Going through destroying a community for absolutely no reason, or destroying community for greed and covering it as you give a about something, is up. Like, why are we going to destroy what we're trying to fix? So he was pretty frustrated that the damage was being done. He was concerned that people would blame some of the homeless camps in the area uh, for the damage, even though he said it was clearly these folks that were doing a demonstration and on the march. So uh, frustrated by that, tried to help put the fire out and move the trash bins out of the street that had been set on fire. And those are laying in the street uh, right now at this hour. Those have not been cleaned up yet. So uh, continuing to monitor the situation, there are other demonstrations that are going to be going on tonight, uh, one at 8 o'clock in Carruthers Park on South Moody Avenue and South Gaines. And there is another one at Irving Park this evening as well. And again, uh, keep an eye on things. You never know here. Uh, these protests can get volatile, but they could also uh, be peaceful. So it depends on the group. Uh, we will bring you any updates here at coin.com. Back to you. All right. Jennifer Dowling, thank you.